I'm a structural engineer. Um, I just finished my PhD at the University of Toronto. My focus is on uh, high-rise buildings and also dynamics of large structures. High-rise buildings are very, um, they're very dynamic in nature. They behave, um, there's a lot of movement associated with them. So when uh, wind strikes a high-rise building, it often causes the building to vibrate back and forth, uh, so much so that people at the tops of the building can get motion sickness. So we, we invented a, a damper for high-rise buildings. It goes in place of structural members, so it goes in place of concrete. Our damper device in particular consists of steel plates and bonded in between the steel plates is a viscoelastic material or a high damping material. And when wind loads or earthquakes uh, strike a building, this viscoelastic material is, uh, is stressed quite a bit, so it absorbs a lot of energy. And we distribute this throughout the height of the structure and in doing so we add a lot of damping or energy absorption to buildings. In the new phase of construction, um, you can either build up the walls, so big concrete walls, you can build them up and then come in after and actually physically install these damper elements, or you can um, make them monolithic with the con concrete construction. So you can, um, as you're pouring the concrete, you attach the the damper devices, embed them into the concrete and pour them. NSERC has been quite instrumental in the development of this technology, so we actually applied uh, for an NSERC um, Idea to Innovation grant and we did full-scale testing. We actually took components of an 85-story building in downtown Toronto and uh, we tested in full-scale, subjected it to hurricanes, uh, typical wind loads to earthquakes and to actually verify if our technology worked kind of the way that we were predicting it to. And uh, it was quite successful. Mm -hmm.